Okay. Okay, there's a lot of you out there that are um, making fun of me online and harassing me and even making some stupid video skits. Um, the girl who's doing Tanya you can't exposing the tree. By the way, she's a hooker. And she works at um, the ranch in Ferrum. Uh, chicken Ranch, just so you know. She's a real bitch, by the way. And if you hear me, bitch, come face me. <laughs> what are you going to do? Come face me. You, got, you want to talk all this talk? You want to call me a liar? You want to make fun of me? You know? Come tell me to my face. Come on, I dare you, bitch. Okay, and all for the rest of you who um, are hating on me that don't even know who I am, uh, you know, I could be your best friend or your worst enemy. You know, and only way I want to be your worst enemy is if you're um, participating in something that you shouldn't be doing, like child pornography, or murder, or kidnapping, or hurting or torturing other innocent people. Um, you know, then I, then I will be your worst nightmare, because this world deserves peace. This world deserves to be rid of the garbage. You know, all this garbage is going on behind the scenes, and, you know, everybody's getting away with it. You know, I mean, they don't tell us about it on the news or anything. You know, you guys all think because you're hooked up, you know, and everything, that you have immunity to the law. You know, that the police might be protecting you, and the media might be protecting you, and they are because they're involved in it. Um, the people who run the media and the people who run the police department who have the power over the, um, you know, authorities and the power of this world are um, protecting you guys. They're protecting all kinds of organized crime. You know, they don't tell us anything about anything on the news, but you think just because you're protected by the police, that you're safe? No, because if you're guilty of these crimes, trust me, you know what is going to happen? You know how you will go down? Is because the world, the people, okay, the police aren't going to do anything to protect us or to expose you or to do anything to you guys unless it's part of their plan. As individuals like Dave Burgess, that was just part of the plan. They saw fit to get rid of him so that Troy could have everything, including Joe Conforti, all the properties and, um, everything that Dave had, and so Dave is basically ruined as far as his um, ego and his titles and his, you know, standing, he's broke, you know, everything. He lost everything, and Troy has it all. And you guys are being protected. Um, but you know what, the people whose families, the people whose children are missing and whose um, families have been hurt or have suffered by your um, crimes, because of whether it was them or whether it was one of their loved ones or one of their children, they're going to be the ones that are going to all come together. They're going to look at you guys and say, what the hell are you doing? This is where we're going to demand an investigation being open, and we're going to demand that our rights are, um, you know, taken into consideration here, because our rights, we don't hardly have no rights anymore. They're almost all being cut off. And, you know, so this is where I'm taking advantage of my freedom of speech, and this is where we need to take advantage of the police department as far as them working for us. The taxpayers' money is to pay them. They're here to work for us and to protect us. And so we need to make sure that that's what they do. You know, make sure and demand it by everybody joining together, even if your children or a loved one has not been kidnapped or murdered. Still, if you know that, you know, the right thing is to stand up and protect this world and each other, then, you know, you'll be a part of this so that everybody in this world who isn't participating in these heinous crimes will all come together and demand that our rights are served and that we do get um, the police department to do their job and the investigators to do their job and the government to do their job, which is to protect us. And that's what they get paid for and that's what they're here for. They're making all this money and they're so freaking rich and they ain't doing shit to protect us. All they're doing is lying to us and just acting like we're a bunch of idiots out here. You know, um, so anyways, for all of you who hate me and who want to fuck with me and who want to call me names and call me crazy and call me a crackhead or whatever, you know, tell me I'm a fucking crackhead, okay? Look, I'm going to be 40 years old in September and I have all my teeth, I don't have any wrinkles, and I have my own house. You know, tell me I've been strung out on crack all this time. Whatever, you know. I've done my share of drugs just like a lot of people have, but you know what? I'm not disillusioned or strung out on drugs, and I'm not crazy because of drugs. I'm not crazy at all. I'm fucking determined to fucking expose this human trafficking, child pornography, snuff film ring, which is huge and it's international, which will also expose the people in the Illuminati who are involved and the people who are 
running our government, who are running the military, and running the police department, who are covering up for everything. Anybody who's guilty will be exposed. And those of you who are guilty, who want out, well, now is the time to do the right thing. Because trust me, um, once that universal spotlight shines on you with your ass in the air and your pants down to your ankles and blood dripping from your fingers, your dicks and your lips, you're going to be so fucking shamed. You're never going to have any power again. You'll never be able to equal anything as far as power or respect. You know, if you can't equal up to your throne, if, you don't, if your power is not equal to that of your title, then you need to get the hell out. Because there's a lot of fucking positions open, a lot of vacancies, and a lot of um, openings for um, people to really take these thrones and to take these um, responsibilities who will take it seriously and do it right. Whether it's in the government, the police department, the military, and um, even the Hell's Angels can become heroes in, on this world. The ones that do the right thing. But if you guys are a bunch of murderers and rapists and child pornography, child pornography for pedophiles, <coughs> then you know what? Your time is up. Yeah, I'm just one person, and you think one person can't do anything? Bet me. You see what one person can do. Because the real power is not in a gun. The real power is in love. Okay? And I love you guys. And the ones of you that are doing wrong, that have done this, you know, I try to take into consideration what has happened to you when you were a child or why you might be doing these things. Obviously, you were hurt or um, neglected or abused in one way or another or denied love. And so I understand, you know. And so therefore, I'm sure the world can forgive you if you do the right thing and you help take down this organization and you're, you know that, you know, it's not right and you want out. If you want out, whether you're a Freemason or whether you're a Hells Angel or whether you're in the Illuminati, if you want out, now's the time. Because trust me, if you don't get out, whether you're involved in it or not, you're still going to lose if you don't stand up and be counted and save your name, save your title, but live up to it. You know, equal the power of your title. You know, as far as I can see, the Hells Angels um, owner, Troy Rigas, is a coward. He won't even come face me or talk to me. All of this, everything that I'm doing and putting you guys, you know, in the spotlight and all these things I've been saying, he won't even come face me face to face. He's scared of me. He's a fucking chicken shit. He, I got bigger balls than him, big time. I've got bigger balls than any fucking man I know. And no, I'm not a man. I'm a fucking woman. But I have more courage than anybody. You know, any Hell's Angel badass fucking owner, Troy Regas, um, that can't even come face a girl and tell me to my face, you know, that I'm wrong. You know why he can't come tell me to my face that I'm wrong? Because I'm not wrong. You know why he's never um, come back at me and said, Tree, um, this isn't true. Until now, I've been doing this for years and years and years. The only way, the only um, reason that he finally um, contacted me and said that this wasn't true was because of those videos that he told me to take off. And I took all eight of them off, but I'm putting a whole hell of a lot more on. You know, and I'm pissed. And you know what, you sons of bitches that are doing this shit, if you don't fucking knock that shit off and get the hell out, now I swear to God, you're going to live to regret it. Because the entire world is going to look at you and they're going to, they're going to hate you. And they will not let you sit where you're sitting, and they will not let you get away with it. You'll be an outcast. You will be completely shamed and humiliated, and you will be known for what you really are. You know, stand up and be counted or get the hell out of here.